Hi, welcome to Daily Devotions. I'm Deacon Mindy Bugai, and I'm so glad that you're joining me today. We want to encourage everyone to go to our website, godamong.us, and there you will find a number of ways that you can be involved online, as well as the opportunities to come back safely on campus for worship and other activities. All the updates will be posted there on the website, so please do use that as a resource so that you have the most current information. I've been sharing song lyrics with you over the past few weeks, and these lyrics, as I've said, have been inspirational to me and to my faith at various times in my life. At times, hearing a certain song will make me think about how God's working around me, and that gives me assurance. I hope over the course of these devotions, you might find song lyrics that speak to you, or you may give thought to other things that are inspirational to you, whether it's art or poetry or daily activities, things that you can include, especially in your daily lives, to stay mindful of God and to stay mindful of your faith. The song lyric I'm going to share with you tonight is from the song, You Say, by Lauren Daigle. This is a song that our band, Revived, shares with us at worship on occasion. The lyrics are this. I keep fighting voices in my mind that say I'm not enough. Every single lie that tells me I will never measure up. Am I more than just the sum of every high and every low? Remind me once again just who I am because I need to know. You say I am loved when I can't feel a thing. You say I am strong when I think I am weak. You say I am held when I am falling short. And when I don't belong, you say I am yours and I believe. Oh, I believe what you say to me. I believe all of us, all of the good, the bad, the hopeful, the doubtful people that we are, Jesus knows us, understands us, and all of what's within us. Hope for us is to trust in God so that our fears and our failures don't keep us from being all that God knows we can be. Jesus tells us that God's love is for us, for the whole world. When Jesus is teaching to Nicodemus in the Gospel of John, he says this, and I'm reading from John 3, 16 through 18, the message version. This is how much God loved the world. He gave his son, his one and only son, and this is why, so that no one need be destroyed by believing in him, anyone can have a whole and lasting life. God didn't go to all the trouble of sending his son merely to point an accusing finger, telling the world how bad it was. He came to help to put the world right again. Anyone who trusts in him is acquitted. Anyone who refuses to trust him has long since been under the death sentence without knowing it. And why? because of that person's failure to believe in the one of a kind son of God when introduced to him. Now this passage is so famous, especially in the more traditional version where we hear for God so loved the world that he gave his only begotten son. It is well known on its own, kind of a standalone verse where someone is declaring something special about God, which may cause us to forget that Jesus says these words about God and about himself to Nicodemus. Before Nicodemus and all the people following Jesus really began to understand who Jesus was, Jesus proclaims that the love of God through his coming to the world is so powerful that it can take away sin and sorrow to transform people of faith by filling them with God's love and strength and to instill in them a sense of belonging. Jesus says this for all of us to hear. 
In John 1, 16 through 18, it says this, we all live off his generous abundance, gift after gift after gift. We got the basics from Moses and then his exuberant giving and receiving, this endless knowing and understanding, all this came through Jesus, the Messiah. Endless knowing and understanding through Jesus. Yet we sometimes let ourselves believe that we aren't enough, that we aren't strong, that we can't measure up somehow. Jesus says we are enough for his love. For us, Jesus is enough to get us through the times that make us feel less than. Hear what Jesus is saying in scripture. There is abundant giving. That is the love and salvation we are promised through Jesus Christ. Trust in that love and share who Jesus says we are because of God's love. Let's pray together the prayer that Jesus taught us. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread. And forgive us our trespasses as we forgive those who trespass against us. Lead us not to temptation, but deliver us from evil. For thine is the kingdom, the power, and the glory forever and ever. Amen. Well, I'm so glad you joined me this evening. I hope you have a wonderful remainder of your night. Goodbye and God bless.